Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking it out if you're new. We made it. One year of Movie Turtle. I want to thank all of you as obviously none of this would have happened without any of you. And I just wanted to kind of take a time to look back on the channel and look at what we've done in a year. You know, I started this as a little passion project because I've always contemplated it but then never committed. And then finally, Nando V Movies posted his one musical scene where I had my entry about Pitch Perfect 1. And that video, that video finally gave me the gumption because it was a rework of a project I had from school that I buffed up and added more to and rearranged. And uh, I'm really proud of how that started the channel off. Then we have two more videos that were again, reworked versions of projects from college. We have the Batman Arkham Asylum analysis, which also started a whole bag of worms. This channel became a way for me to share my love for the Arkham franchise. There was also the Walking Dead Telltale history video. I haven't really done a video like that yet. I've thought about it, but there just hasn't been anything necessarily that I've wanted to research as in depth as I researched that video. Then we have the channel's first original video. This one was not a school project. This one was written for the channel out of a passion of, of my interest. And that's the Arkham City video. That video got reworked so many times because I love Arkham City. It's probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite video game of all time. So there are like three or four different versions of that script. The one you see on screen was the one I decided to go with. Then, wanting to continue with the Pitch Perfect series, I rewatched Pitch Perfect 2, and <laughs> I quickly learned that I did not like it as much as I thought, and hence why the video, No More Mashups, based on a line from the movie, came out. The next video was my analysis of the Ninth Doctor from Doctor Who, again, based on a rewatch, because I got the complete series for Christmas. I have yet to get through Tenet's era. At the end of that video, I promise that I'm going to do one for every modern Doctor and maybe even classic Who. I know I've been kind of slacking on that. That's because life has just gotten busy and my Doctor Who rewatch kind of got put on the back burner. I do plan to still revisit that. And also that video and the Pitch Perfect video was one where I quickly learned about YouTube's copyright bot. If you don't know, YouTube uses an algorithm when you upload a video, an AI, an algorithm, a bot, whatever you want to call it, that analyzes and watches through your video to then check for any copyrighted content by studios, and then the studios can claim it. Some studios manually claim things, while other studios automatically claim videos. And when they put these claims on videos, sometimes it doesn't matter. Like right now, this video isn't monetized. This channel's not monetized at the moment. So it doesn't really matter. But it's still frustrating because sometimes it blocks who can or cannot see the video. So that Doctor Who video still to this day is covered in copyright claims because of all the different footage I used from the show. Even though it is fair use. Because if y'all don't know, fair use is where you can use copyrighted material in an educational or, or reinvented matter. So for example, in that video, the Doctor Who footage can't be used as a replacement for the show. You still have to watch the show for it to make sense. But that video is covered in copyright claims. And that was kind of the video essay era of the channel where that's all I was doing. The first reaction video came next when I forced my friends to watch Pitch Perfect 3. This is Serenity, Veracity, and Charity. Hi. If I joined your group, I could be obesity. <laughs> Get it? Oh, if you're wondering, our presence here has nothing to do with the nationally televised salute to the truth. What are you doing this to me, Connor? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. What am I doing to you? You might as well just have a t-shirt that just has fat and giant letters. <laughs> and that's it. I mean, do you see her hat? <laughs> yes, I saw the goddamn hat. <laughs> Which was honestly one of the most fun videos to film. I was struggling with what to write for an essay or analysis, breakdown, whatever you want to call those videos for Pitch Perfect 3 because I didn't really have anything nice to say. 
So instead, I sat down with some of my friends, who Morgan, who had not seen it in a long time, and Phil, who had never seen it, and we watched through, and that was fun. And that really got me into wanting to do more reaction videos. And that's where the series, I Forced My Friends, and My Friends Forced Me, were birthed. This new series of videos in my head was going to be me showing my friends some of my favorite things, and my friends showing me some of their favorite things. And then maybe sometimes we'd watch a bad movie on purpose, just for fun. I really enjoyed that series. I think it's some of my favorite on the channel. They're definitely a lot more fun to edit. Then we have our first teaser trailer reaction with the Scream 6 teaser trailer with Morgan, Phil, and I. That was a fun one. I, I know the trailer reactions aren't consistent on this channel. It's kind of just whatever trailer I feel like recording or haven't seen yet. Let me know down in the comments below, do you want me to be more consistent with trailer reactions? Then we came with my MCU What Was Phase 4 All About video, which I know what Phase 4 is about, and that video <laughs> taught me really well about talking about popular subjects like Star Wars and Marvel and the type of comments you invite. Nothing too horrible. But honestly, I was just trying to have fun with it because everybody talked about how horrible it was and that it's about grief and death and all that. And I just wanted to try something new. That video was a fun little quick passion project that I did. And then that following that was the largest video on this channel to date. You guys ate this one up. This is the Batman Arkham Origins, an almost perfect origin. I replayed Arkham Origins before filming that video and fell in love with the game. As the video says, it's an almost perfect origin. There are some things I would tweak and change, but it does a good job, and I really love that video. After that, we have another collaboration between Phil Morgan and I, where we talked about our favorite films of 2023. I enjoy sharing my thoughts. I know film criticism and rankings and things like that can be kind of silly, because at the end of the day, film subjective, you like what you like, you don't like what you don't like. So for me, I like sharing my thoughts on movies like that and putting them in silly rankings even though it doesn't matter, especially when they're some of my favorites like that video. Next up we had one inspired by Avatar 2 and that's that James Cameron loves nature and hates humanity. Again, this one was inspired by Avatar 2 and a really fun project to work on. Is it as deep and serious of a video essay as it might sound? No, but it's fun to highlight the patterns in Cameron's history. Then we have what was supposed to be a reaction video. And that's Bumper in Berlin Season 1. But there was nothing to react to because that show is boring. That was filmed to round out the Pitch Perfect series until Season 2 drops, assumedly next year, now with the strikes. I don't even know if they filmed or written it. Then we have another trailer reaction with Scream 6. And after Scream 6 comes something new and interesting to the channel, which I didn't think happened this early. I thought it happened later on the channel. But that's Movie Turtle Plays. Now the Movie Turtle Plays videos are just meant to basically be fun little snippets and highlights from gaming sessions with my friends. Nothing too, nothing too in-depth or consistent. They're just kind of put out there whenever I feel like. If you would like more of those videos, then go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know some games you might want me to play in the future, and I'll see if I can get to them. This one right here is one of my favorites, and that's when I forced my friend Natalie to play Batman Arkham Asylum. Shut up. Get the fuck up here. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I was waiting for that one specifically. <laughs> This is part one. We're currently still having her play the game. You know, we kind of fell off of it and now we're back on it because of the strike. It was so much fun to share one of my favorite games with one of my best friends, even if she didn't exactly love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, oh. <laughs> let him get up, let him get up. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He getting rolled like a fucking beach ball out there. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little rapid fire so this video isn't an eternity long for you guys. 
Then we've got HBO's The Last of Us, which I did that in segments as the show was released. It was fun to look at that show and how it was an adaptation and how it was different from the video game. Another series that's kind of inconsistent is My Thoughts On. This is, again, just whenever I feel passionate or interested enough to sit down in front of a camera and talk about something. We have another movie, Turtle Plays, with Super Liminal. I know I'm years behind on that game, but my friends showed it to me, and it was on Game Pass, so we sat down and played it one night. We've got some Super Bowl trailer reactions. And then a big, a big project inspired by Phil with 1L's video on the Santa Clauses. Go check that one out. I revisited and did a What Went Wrong with the Book of Boba Fett, because I don't remember that show being so bad. That video actually started out as a, like, Boba Fett wasn't that bad video. And then it was like, oh no, it's even worse than I remember. Is, are we getting, is he getting his own show? Because I'd really like to see that. That video too, another one, made me learn that Disney and their copyright Disney loves to block videos. I think they just have it set to automatically block it if it has Disney content. So with that, what better way to follow that up than a reaction to the season 3 premiere of The Mandalorian. Where again, I fought tooth and nail with the copyright bot. And then we have another reaction to the Fox movie, Ready or Not. He pulls out a card and it says Fortnite. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> League of Legends. <laughs> I would kill myself. Which, if you all know, who owns Fox right now? So yeah, that video got blocked. And it's so disappointing, and I'm not going to act like it doesn't kill your motivation when a video gets claimed. Because there's, you know, more than 10 seconds of Samara Weaving screaming in the movie. Uh, something we tried different was Phil, Morgan, and I, you know, usually we're in the Discord calls because we all live hundreds of miles apart. But we road tripped together to go see Scream 6 in the same room. And so then we recorded a little impromptu reaction slash spoiler discussion in my car, which, if you watch that video, the visuals aren't that great because it was at night. And then we've got another My Friend Forced Me to Play. My friend Taylor, one of her favorite franchises is Dragon Age, so she was so excited, <laughs> at least at first, to get me to play the game, and then she realized how tedious that was gonna be. Where's that? The place you were just at. <laughs> Why didn't you say anything, bestie? This is about to be the most stressful experience I've ever had yeah. in my whole fucking life. I, I know, baby girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Taylor's gonna come back tomorrow when I finish the game. I'll be like, actually, never mind. I don't want to watch you play this. We have another impromptu Shazam Fury of the Gods review. That one was because I was inspired by the screen review to, again, do these, like, right out of the theater, talk about my stuff, talk about how I feel. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still haven't decided whether I want to continue those or not. Like, I do. I think they're fun. But they're also a pain, because the movie just came out in theaters, there's no footage to overlay, and when you use trailer footage, you get claimed. Those are also unscripted, so they are quick and easy to film. Like I said, they're usually done either in the car or right when I get home from the theater. Let me know if you want to see those for more movies coming out once the strike is over. Uh, one of my favorite videos on the channel that comes up here, and that's... Natalie and I watching Vox Machina, the legend of Vox Machina. Come on, Percy, faster! No! This thing was not built for speed. And did you just hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not fair. That's us. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we we have now at this point watched seasons one and two. Our full reaction to season one is available in two parts on this channel. And our reaction to season two is slowly coming out as I get it edited. 
along with there was a delay with the strike. Since then I have learned that Vox Machina is not struck content because animation created for streaming is not struck. In March 2023, I also started a new series on this channel, the What I Watched, Read, and Played. This was again inspired by my friend Phil with one else, some stuff I watch. Except for me, I do more than watch things. As you can see behind me, big old bookshelf, I read a lot of things and I play a lot of video games. And so I just really wanted a chance to talk about books I like and comics. Comics, 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 because those come out monthly. So I can kind of update you with like the, oh yeah, this Superman wasn't that good, or that Batman was great. And so that was fun. Again, that series has been stalled out by the strike. I'm still going back and forth on whether to continue it with just I read and played until the strike is over, or just wait and do one big what I watched, read, and played during the writer's strike of 2023. With that, we have I Forced My Friends to Watch Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Oh my god, not the cake topper. Mom, oh he's my, my friend. <laughs> you fuck my mom? <laughs> <laughs> She's painting no. him? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm skipping and shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Got her twirling her hair. <laughs> She's fucking glowing right now. You're gonna have to call me daddy now. <laughs> <laughs> that one was really fun. That was for April Fools. And for that video, normally I would tell them. You know, I would send them a message. Hey Natalie, do you want to watch Fox Machina? Or hey, can everybody come together so that we can watch Pitch Perfect 3? But for that video, I just told them, you know, we're going to be watching something tonight at 8 o'clock. Please show up. And then I surprised them with the wheel. Oh, my God. <laughs> the what? fucking wheel. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, if it's Lyle Lyle Crocodile, Lyle, I'm getting Lyle, out of the call. Lyle, 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 Lyle. No, you're I'm not. out of the call, bro. <laughs> you have to I respect mean... the choice of the wheel. The wheel was a really fun gimmick. I've been trying to decide whether to, again, bring it back on the regular for bad movies or save it for April Fool's Day. Then in April, we have a bunch of things. We had Star Wars Celebration, so you've got my thoughts on that as well as the Ahsoka trailer reaction. Again, something I was really excited for and to sit down and talk about. Phil with 1L and I also sat down and watched the pilot to Gotham Knights. Cullen Rowe. Really? Because your birth certificate hey, says you were born. Don't use his dead name. Fine. I got another dead name for him. Bruce Wayne Ford. Um. <laughs> Excuse. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Christ. <Sorry about> <laughs> from what your sister told me, it sounds like you got enough of that from your dad. At least Harvey's an ally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just not a dick. But for how much longer? <laughs> Harvey is an ally, but two face. <laughs> two faces, <laughs> homophobic, transphobic, <laughs> all of the phobias. The biggest bigot of all time. Oh god. A flip of this coin will decide whether or not I say a slur. <laughs> <laughs> we are huge nerds. And we, when we lived together in college, watched the Arrowverse almost religiously every week. So, of course, we had to see how it died with Gotham Knights. We have since watched the rest of the series. And, again, that video is just waiting on the writer strike to end. Because that struck content. And so I'm not putting it out yet. Morgan M. Steele and I ranked all of our ghost faces. And our list lined up more than I thought. That was fun. Those ones, again, just opinions and us having funds. I invited you all to comment down below with your own rankings. Morgan then forced me to play one of her childhood games, Putt Putt Saves the Zoo. Hey, you got me. Hey, you got me. Hey, you got me. I thought this was the hard one. 
also for like four year olds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome job you doing there. Let's go. And we did have a fun time. Cute little game. Check that video out. In May 2023, we got the start of the pilot program. The newest series on this channel. So the pilot program, similar to I forced my friends to watch and things like that, is my friends and I sit down and we watch the pilots of TV shows. Because if you don't know, a pilot is traditionally the pitch for the show, or the first show developed to kind of test the waters and see if a studio really wants to commit to it. Some shows just get greenlit and, you know, there you go, season one ordered. But sometimes they're given a limited budget and told to produce a pilot episode. This franchise would again be me showing my friends some of my favorite shows and them showing me some of theirs. As well as us watching some of the most notorious, canceled, or terrible pilots. Which we started this off with, with Little Mermaid's Island. This is what you see before you die. You can't die until this entire pilot episode finishes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just got the BJ on his B day. I did not like that one bit, brother. It's terrible. This was timed, of course, with the release of the 2023 live action Little Mermaid. And we had so much fun with that video. <laughs> that video also, you might notice, in that video that Taylor is a little icon. And that is because I was inspired by the whole shitty footage car review with Morgan, Phil, and I to commission Taylor to create little icons for us. So and if the footage is unrecognizable or we don't have our cameras on when we're on Discord, I can insert one of those little bouncing guys, and it's a cute little icon that represents all of us. Not every icon has made a debut so far, because usually I keep my camera on for my videos, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just have to start using those more often for bits. Maybe some gaming videos and things like that where you only hear our voice. I did a fun video that I was passionate about, and that was on Earth Prime, the Arrowverse crossover you never saw. Quick little pitch for that video. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the Arrowverse couldn't film a crossover, so they released it in comics form. And so that video is me kind of breaking it down, reviewing, analyzing it, telling about my thoughts and how it's a little weird, but also kind of neat. Then we have the conclusion to the Arkham franchise with Arkham Knight, a fitting end. Wow. <laughs> I know it was a big gap between the Origins video and Night, but Night is a lot bigger of a game, and I was just busy. One of my favorite videos to edit on this channel was the GTA Online video. Yo. What's that? Oh, god. oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to click that if you've got it <laughs> running. <laughs> oh this is again a movie Turtles plays where it's just Natalie and I screwing around in GTA for an hour and a half. I really like that video. Go give that one a watch if you have not. Trust me, that's one of my favorites. And then we actually have the first my friends forced me to watch movie. And that was Monster High the movie. The live action Monster High. What? You can already fly Draculaura. What is the Literally. point of this? Girl, you can turn into a bat. I can I do love that the too. She I want special. the poncho. You can turn into a bat. Yeah. Do it right now. Watch. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, he's Editor gone. Connor, edit in a little tootie bat flying across the screen. <laughs> Ooh. That took a lot out of me. Wow, very good. <laughs> now me, having seen nothing Monster High, went in raw and just... <laughs> so me, having seen nothing Monster High, I went in fresh and with a new perspective. Ha <laughs> ha.
Oh my god. Tony's gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> this is straight. I ain't never talking about Transformers again. I understand now. <laughs> I'm just saying made up Every shit. Every time you talk, brother. Oh my god, the Every title of the video. And... <laughs> the title of the video is just Monster High is Transformers for Women? Question. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> that video is also one of my favorites. Super fun. The reactions are always fun, and that's why I kind of hesitate and wonder if the channel's moved too far away from its video essays origins. But I also feel like the reactions are more fun. They're what I enjoy doing. I still want to do video essays and analysis, but the reactions are the most fun to edit for me. And that's why you might see a lot of reaction videos coming out in succession with one another versus the video essays take time because they have to be written, they have to be filmed, they have to be edited. And then after reacting to the Adventures of Superman pilot with my friend Chelsea, the writers and actors strikes kicked up a notch. I know at the time the writers strike had been already ongoing, but the actors strike is what called for the full on stop of influencers covering content. And so we're kind of caught up to present day now. Currently in standing with solidarity with the strikes, the channel is not covering movies and TV shows that are struck. I have pivoted more towards video games and animation and anime, as those are all not struck. I'm also working on some book content. I just picked up this book right here. Uh, Rise of the Red Blade that I think is pretty neat and so I'll probably be doing a video on that once I finish it. I'm also in the middle of listening to the audiobook of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the Hunger Games prequel. Uh, yeah, maybe a video on that. We'll have to see. But yeah, and then actually currently at this moment of filming this, hopefully that video is out by now, but there is a reaction to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pilot with my friends and I that's currently being held because it's blocked. Because the Monster High video taught me that. Paramount loves to block videos like Disney, but Paramount responds faster. So yeah, one year of YouTube. It's definitely been an experience. I wouldn't trade it. I love doing this. I wish I could do it full time. But obviously I have to balance out YouTube with my actual job. But I just love sharing with all of you. The things I love are my friends and I having a good time. Because it's the type of content I like to enjoy from other channels. And so I wanted to share what I enjoy. I'm not going to pretend like, oh, I'm a big time YouTuber with, you know, hundreds of views and stuff like that. No. But those of you that are here do count. And you're what makes this matter. I wouldn't have made it to one year without any of you. So what does the next year for Movie Turtle look like? Well, at the moment, the strike's still going on. So like I said, lots of books and movies. I have some video essays in the work. However, some of them are on struck content, so they're kind of on the back burner. Morgan and I are continuing to play through Skyrim for gaming content. <gasps> not the cow. Connor, not the cow. <laughs> or the cow. Butter. <laughs> Connor. <laughs> What? <laughs> Connor! <laughs> Connor the cow! I want to film a co-op session of Baldur's Gate with my friends. I want to watch more pilots. I want to watch more movies. I just want to share more movies, TV shows, games, and books with you guys. So once again, thank you all so much. I hope you've enjoyed the highlights of year one. And here's to another year. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.